Hi, I'm Brianna Masson with Jet Set, and I'm here to give you a great workout for your butt. We call it the Butt Blast. So Kate is my beautiful model. You can see she's already got the circle TheraBand around her knees, which is, might be the most awkward thing to put on your body ever, but she has it gracefully on above her knees. Now, if you don't have a circle TheraBand, you can use a regular TheraBand doubled up and knotted. You just want it really tight so it's quite tight. So she's gonna start standing facing forward. Her feet are gonna open a little bit wider than hips, and she's gonna take squats normal classical squats. She's going to squat down and then she's going to lift. Good. So she's sitting her pelvis back as far as it will go. Her weight is in her heels. Her feet are spread. Her stomach is lifted. Ideally, the spine, which she's doing beautifully, stays in a neutral position. The tailbone isn't tucking under. It's reaching back. Her weight is heavy in her heels so that we get more activation through her glutes and the hamstrings. Again, three more. Sitting back and lift. Good. The arms can be in front of you. There's no right or wrong, just using it as balance. Good, and let's go one more time. And sitting back, good. Now from here, she's gonna take crab walks. So her arms can stay forward, they can stay behind your back as you prefer. She's gonna travel laterally on the mat. She's gonna step and come in and step together, good. And she's keeping the resistance of the band just enough when the legs come together that she doesn't lose the band resistance to make it hard. As we do this, her glute medius, her outer hip muscles are really starting to fire. So that's what we want. We wanna turn on those hip muscles and we're gonna follow that sort of kind of wave that wants to happen with the pelvis and we're gonna to try to eliminate it as it goes. Last time, good. And back to stand, good. From here, she's gonna come onto her back. Your head can go this direction. And we're gonna go into bridge. So knees are gonna be bent, arms are down by your sides. She has a little bit of opening of the knees already, pushing laterally. The feet are in alignment with her thigh bones. Inhale, she's gonna bridge under with the tailbone to lift those hips up to the ceiling. Good. And then she's gonna exhale and melt through the spine and melt all the way down into the mat. Gorgeous, and tailbone reaches. And again, scooping under. We're gonna do three of these. So she's got this nice lateral press of the legs. Good and then exhale, and she's melting through her spine, engaging her butt, engaging her hamstrings. Last one, she's gonna bridge up and she's going to hold here. Now from here, you've got that nice, beautiful diagonal line. She's gonna laterally press her legs open and back to center, and press open and center. Good, and we're gonna do 10 of these. So as you're pressing out, you're gonna to start to feel those outer hips if you aren't feeling them yet, and press, good, and in. Again, press, good, and her hips are staying at the same height. No matter what, the hips stay at the same level. Good. One more time here. Then she's gonna hold right here. She's gonna press the hips, pulsing up a little bit and down. Just getting that nice lift right where the hamstring inserts into the glute muscle and press. And you can see it's not a big lift. We're not jamming the back. We're just engaging and warming up those butt muscles. Good, even more than they already were. And lift, good, two more. And up, and one more. Good, and you're gonna roll down through the spine all the way down. You can let the knees come together just for a moment to give those hips a break. Now, we're gonna go into single leg bridge. So we're gonna start with the legs apart and the right leg extended. If this pulls on your back for any reason, you do this without the band. You just take one leg out of the band. So she's gonna have this beautiful reach. She's gonna press with her hips up to the ceiling, same bridge. This leg reaches long out from her body, good. And then exhale, she rolls down. Good, and as you can see, it's a lot of work to keep those hips stable. So she reaches again, lifting the hips up. Press, good, gorgeous, and lowering down. On the next one, she's gonna stay up there. We're gonna hold the hips high. Here's where it gets tricky. The right leg is gonna press out and back to the center line. And again, press it out. Gorgeous, and lift. And again, press, good. And what I'm looking for is that stable pelvis, no extra motion, two more here. Press, good. Hips a little bit higher on that right side, good. One more, hold there, and roll the spine down. Good, bend the knee, place the foot onto the mat. Good, nice, left leg extends. Inhale, shoulders press. Exhale, scooping under from underneath. Good, and reach, gorgeous, that's lovely. And then exhale, you melt from the sternum, and rolling down, good. And as you can see, the shoulders are working very hard here to help, and press and reach. Good, and lowering down. It's very tricky on the leg that's extended. And again, lifting up, hold there, left leg presses out, and in, yes. And this is the harder side, yes. And again, press, and in, beautiful. Lifting those hips a little bit higher, good. One more, 
Press, yes. And bend the knee, place the foot onto the mat. Good, and lowering down, lovely. All right, very good, that was nice. From here, she's gonna move the band to her ankles and we're gonna set up for the 100. So once again, with the band, we're working the outer hips, right? So here, different than what we've done before, you're not squeezing, you're pressing out. So the legs are gonna lift up to the ceiling. She takes a nice big inhale. Exhale, she curls forward. The ankles are pressing out to the side. She lowers the legs to a challenging height. And we pump, breathing in. And exhaling, good. And again, inhale. Now, if adding that band adds too much strain, you always just take the legs a little bit higher. Maybe the knees soften a little bit to help you out. Good, and pump. Yes, this looks great. So she's got this beautiful scoop. The crown of the head is reaching to the ceiling. The belly is pulling in. Those legs look great, nice and strong. And that core is really nice and deep. Good, let's do two more breaths. Inhale, nice big breath in. And exhale, narrowing that core. Good, last breath, inhale. And exhale, pulling those abs in. Beautiful, bend the knees into the chest, hug them in, give them a stretch, stretch those hips. Good, from here, where the band is gonna go right above the knees again, and we're gonna come back onto all fours and give those butt muscles even more to do. So she's gonna flip over, hands underneath her shoulders, knees underneath her hips. We're gonna start with a nice attitude to the back. So her arms are nice and strong. She's gonna use her right leg. She's gonna lift the right leg up to the ceiling and lower down, good. And again, lift, yes. So as you can see that nice softness in the knee. We don't want a super straight leg because the band will get annoying and start to roll up towards your butt. But you can see how she's really actively using that glute. Excellent, and lower. And again, lift and lower. The core is in strong, one more. Now her knee's gonna come in, bending alongside the left knee, and she's gonna do a lateral lift to the side. So she's gonna lift right out to the side and close. And as you can see, it's not super large, this range of motion. It is hard because you're trying to keep that thigh bone in alignment with the pelvis without shifting too far onto your left side. Good, yes, and again, very nice. Two more, lift and lower, good, and lift and lower. From here, she's gonna extend her legs straight back into plank. We're just gonna transition with a nice core work so that both legs extend. She's got the legs pressing out to the sides. She's engaging her core, feeling the shoulders stabilize, the neck elongate, the legs lengthen. Gorgeous. And then she's gonna come back down onto her knees. We're gonna transition to the left. So she starts with her back attitude. She lifts up and lower. And again, lift, yes. And what gets tricky about this is that you have this tendency with this heavy band to want to start to use your back. So you're gonna make sure that you're really using your butt and your hamstrings, good, yes, to access those muscles. Lift, gorgeous. Down, let's do two more here. Lift and down, and again, lift and down. Knees come into alignment. From here, we move laterally. So the left knee opens wide and close, yes. Good, and you might have heard this exercise as like a fire hydrant position. I don't love that because I feel like that in, makes you feel like you have to lift that leg really high. And what I love what Kate's doing is that those hips are nice and steady. Good, and those shoulders look gorgeous. So they're not shifting, her core is in. One more time, and lift, good. And sitting back into child's pose and take a stretch. Gorgeous. Excellent, so she's gonna roll on up. Lie onto your left side for me. We're gonna take the band off the top leg and we're gonna set up for the side leg series. So we'll keep it close to the ankle for the next set when we get there. So she's gonna align her body with the back of the mat, so slide all the way back for me. Elbow goes out to the side, hips at the back edge. Top hands across from the waist, feet come forward to that 45 degree angle. Good, she's using that top hand to really press strongly. The shoulders are engaged. The waistband on the left side is lifted. The right leg lifts a little. And then we're gonna go into front back. So she's gonna kick forward, double kick, one, two, and exhale, reach, and again, kick, kick, and exhale, reach, good. And again, kick, kick, exhale, reach. So finally, we don't have a band, so it's nice. You're gonna use that range of motion to really open the hip as you extend behind. And again, kick, kick, and exhale, reach, good. Keep that length in that pelvis as you extend back and bring the top leg right above the bottom leg. Turn the leg out. We kick to the ceiling, point up, flexing down. Inhale, point up, good, and down, yes. As we get this batma going, the core is firing, the stomach is in nice and strong, gorgeous. And we go again, and lower one more time. Lift, and lower. Now she's gonna reach through the foot with that nice external rotation, so we'll add that turnout, and small circles up and around. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, 
six, two more, seven, and eight. Reverse, one. And what I want to feel is that leg gets, oh yes, longer. Out of that hip, beautiful. And circle, circle, and seven, and eight. Good, lower the leg. We add develop hey. So she's still in external rotation. She bends the knee in towards her shoulder, up to the ceiling, and lower the leg down. And bending in, extend, and lowering down. Drawing in, so I'm pulling the hip down to create more space in her waistband, which also makes it harder reverse for me. Straight leg up, the tendency will be to hike the hip, because why not? You can get the leg higher. But who cares how high the leg goes when we get that rotation? One more. Lengthen, good, up, and extend. From here, we're gonna go ahead and thread that ankle back through. Good, and we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna move it up for you, Kate, but we're gonna put the band right above the knees. So, as you know, awkward, awkward, awkward. Yes, and we're gonna go right into clam. So the knees are gonna bend at a 90 or 45 degree angle. Heels and feet are on the mat. So top knee is gonna lift. She's gonna add a hold and then close it back down. Gorgeous, and again, inhale, lift, and exhale, close, good. Again, inhale, lift, and close. And as you can see, it's not super large. Once again, the band is creating a resistance in the range of motion. So you're pushing into those muscles. Good, one more time. And a lift, and kind of building more strength there. Both heels are gonna lift up, and we do the same thing again. Inhale, lift. Good, watching that the top hip doesn't roll forward when you lift those heels. Up, good, and down, lovely. And three more, lift, and lower, and two, good. And down, one more. Up, and down, beautiful, rest. Swing those legs around to the other side, head will go here. We'll take the band off of the legs again, starting from the beginning of the series. From here, we're gonna lift the left leg just a little bit off the bottom, kicking front back. So we go kick, kick, exhale, and reach. Good, and again, kick, kick. Good, so as the leg is stretching, the core is working, the glute's working, I want you to feel that your spine is getting longer. Your two-way stretch from the crown of the head through your tailbone. Good, two more times. Kick, kick, exhale and reach. Lovely, and again, kick, kick, exhale and reach. Good, heels together. We're gonna add our kick to the ceiling. Inhale, the leg pop, maz, and lower. Good, and you're gonna make sure that that top hip doesn't fall back. If you have less turnout, which is most normal people, you're gonna maybe kick slightly ahead of you in order to facilitate the kick. And again, lift, yes, lovely, and down. And again, two more, up and lower, good. And again, up. Now she's gonna add the developé, so she draws the toe along the inseam of the tights or shorts, legs extend to the ceiling, and lower down. And again, inhale, good working within the range of motion that you have, right? So as that leg reaches to the ceiling, you're gonna turn out a little bit more, thank you, and reverse, straight leg up, bend the knee, gorgeous, and extend. Again, lift and bend and reach, good. Keeping that neutral pelvis every time and extend, holding there. We're gonna lift the leg, we're gonna add our circles and small circles around one, and two, and three, and four, and five, good. Yes, I'm just helping her sacrum really stay as neutral as possible. And reverse, and one, and two. So she's got that turnout of that leg, nice and strong. Yes, there we go. I know it's burning. Good, and lower the leg down. She threads her top leg into that band. The band's gonna come up above the knees, and I'll help with that. And we're gonna set up for clam. Good, so the knees are gonna bend to 45 degrees. The heels are down on the mat, ankles together. Inhale, top knee opens. Yes, and exhale and close, good. And that core looks awesome. It's engaged, it's stabilizing you as you do this. Good, and you'll notice immediately that if one leg feels like a thousand pounds when you try to lift it up to the ceiling. And lift, and lower, very good. And two more, up and down, one more time, lift and lower, both heels lift up. And inhale, top knee opens, and close, good. Excellent job with the pelvis, yes. We're isolating the thigh bone inside of the hip socket as it turns out, good. And again, two more, lift, and down, and last one. Great, good, coming up to sit, very nice. The band's gonna come off the legs, we're gonna end with standing, and then from here we're gonna take a little split leg lunge. 
So Kate's gonna come all the way up to stand. Her arms can come, or standing in the middle of the mat. We'll step the right foot forward, left foot back. The back heel will be lifted. The hands can come to the hips. And you wanna make sure you're standing in a stance that is perfect for your height. So you might have to adjust the back leg. I think for you, Kate, you're gonna move your back leg further back. Yeah, so inhale, she's gonna go directly down to the ground. Her back knee is gonna to touch. Exhale to come back up. Good, and again, bend. So we wanna make sure that the front knee isn't going in front of the toe because we don't want unnecessary strain in the patella. Good, the kneecap. And again, bending down. So you wanna feel your whole spine go straight up, straight down. Gorgeous, and lift. I want two more on this side. Good, and the more weight you put on that back leg, the more you're gonna feel in that glute on that right side. Good, you're gonna step your back to your back leg to the front leg, good. And then step the left leg or right leg back, perfect. So hips nice and square, spine straight. Inhale, bending down and lift. And like you can see, you might have to adjust the foot. It's totally normal because you're gonna feel like your balance is a little wobbly in this exercise. Yes, good. And I would love the weight to be more on that back leg. Yes, so that glute on that left side has to work a little bit harder. Yes, gorgeous, good. She's making it look effortless, but by this time your legs are probably a little bit like jello. And two more. And lift. And one more. Good. Step the back leg to the front. You can turn to face the other direction. Let's lift those arms to the ceiling and let's take one nice rounded forward stretch. You're gonna curl forward, rounding the spine forward, softening the knees a little bit so the body weight doesn't shift all the way back to the heels. Good, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna roll the spine back up, stretching through the back of the legs through the core, coming all the way to stand and relax. Yes, very good. So your legs should feel a little bit like jello now. Hope you enjoyed the butt blast workout. And I'm Brianna Masson with Jet Set.